everybody, my name is Analytical Plum and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever heard of the sensational celebrity YouTubers called the Ace Family? If you haven't, you're the lucky ones. <laughs> Essentially, who they are is they are this family vlogger type. It started off with Catherine and Austin. So I, I believe Austin was a basketball player and Catherine was, I think, like a model. She was in a relationship with another famous basketball player and then them two got together and then the rest is sadly history if you do know about the ace family if you haven't kept up to date with them Catherine and austin have split up and that is going to be the premise of today's video we finally got this moment that everybody was waiting for Catherine's taking it very very amazingly she she's thriving she's living her life austin on the other hand isn't doing as great he's yeah he's just being him at the moment but that is what we're gonna react to on tiktok today but before we look at those tiktoks i would appreciate if you would consider subscribing i do post twice a week but do not hold me to that and if you do like these types of videos if you want to support my channel then i would love if you would consider liking this video apart from that let's get into seeing how austin has been doing in his downfall <laughs> Before I show you all of these TikToks, I want to say I've kind of established a timeline of these TikToks. It's a bit all over the place. So he moved out of Catherine's and his home. He was saying how he's got a new home. It's all good. He was giving viewings. This is all on Snapchat, by the way. I'm not sure how many people still use Snapchat, but it's all on there they love a good snapchat for some reason he's been living in an rv and then i think that only lasted for one night and then he's been living with somebody else who we will get to in a later tiktok but this first tiktok is austin giving us a good old haul of what was meant to be his house no idea what ended up happening but let, let's see what he got for this house it is a basket for my throws, <laughs> blankets. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I told you guys the vibes in my house are very masculine. I have a little bit of dark colors going on here. I do have to say I'm not the biggest fan of Austin and the things he decides to say and the way he does things are just very questionable. Those types of comments gives off a vibe where he's like, if you were walking to his house, everything would be grey. He's like the next step of the grey, not of the grey, of the sad beige mums. But this is sad beige Austin. Sad grey Austin. I don't think he, like, his jumper he's wearing now is probably the most colourful he's probably ever going to be in his life. <laughs> this is nice. Look, just look at this together, like this together. Oh my, just look, just, would you look at that? Would you look at that? You can tell, I'm an interior designer. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Ha, DM me if you, if you do want to hire me, because I can get your house looking. Oh, it's so soft, it's like cuddle. He seriously gives off children vibes. You know when they go up to you after they've like stepped on a snail or something and they're like look at my friend I've made and they want you to touch this crushed snail. What do you do? <laughs> it's just whenever Austin starts talking to you it's like you just have to sit there and smile and wave just to get them to go along so you can get to safety. <laughs> I mean yeah that that is it can be exciting you know buying things for your house slash RV whatever you're doing but I mean, this man it's just he's very bizarre <laughs> this next tiktok i'm going to show you is very very short i do have to say all of this is from other creators on tiktok because as i said all of this came from snapchat i don't have snapchat i don't i don't follow austin so it, this isn't the full bit but it's i don't think i'm gonna give you any context i think it'll be so much more entertaining if i just let you watch it. I can just run around. I can do cartwheels. <laughs> I can do backflips. 
we did. I'm feeling a mixture of fear and concern. I t <laughs> this behaviour is just rendering me speechless. It's like if you were to go to the zoo and you just see this one just animal just running in circles and you're just you're very concerned about that animal that's kind of what i'm feeling right now it's it's like i think this is in catherine's back garden or front garden or nearby as well so imagine her she's been sage in this house you know trying to purify her air and trying to make it a nice safe space and you look out of your window and see your ex-husband doing cartwheels in the garden <laughs> It's just, the picture of it, it's just so bizarre. I don't know how Catherine has put up with him for so long. This next TikTok is a lovely bit of advice on home shopping, because, you know, we know that Austin's the most reliable when it comes to that, so why wouldn't you take advice from him? And get your house looking. Ooh! So, let, let's see what he has to say. Make sure you sit on every couch you look at. Make sure you sit on it. Well, as I'm looking at this bed, I see this tree next to it. This tree is nice. I want this. I want this. Do you think he's taking this divorce a bit hard? To be fair, a lot of people are saying that this is fake or for views because they're just going downhill because they fake a lot of things. So people are thinking they're making it up. And I don't know my ground on that because they have done a lot of this type of thing in the past where they fake things for views, but it's just... It's, it's so bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think everyone goes through that. When they go shopping, they get mesmerised by trees. Like, everyone has moments where they go to lay in a bed to test it out and you turn around and there's a tree that you really, really want to hug and take home for the rest of your life, you know? Or maybe you just take it out. Monochrome. What? The clove, frankincense, and rose? Yo, this one's crazy. This one's crazy. This one, like, is my favorite because it matches my house. You see what I mean? Again, with all the greys. What is it with greys? I always find men's clothes and shoes or whatever just very dull colors. Where are the colors? Just enjoy a bit of color, please. <laughs> this next TikTok is a first glimpse into Austin's first time becoming ill while he has been separate from Catherine. I'm just going to let you enjoy it, like the last one. I, I don't think I need to say anything. This kind of content just speaks for itself in volumes. Just the enormous amazement. Oh, I finally just got out of bed. I got chills and fever and sweat from head to toe. What should I do, y'all? Hopefully I don't have the C word. Should I go to the hospital just to, like make sure? What I, what should I do, y'all? What should I do? I'm gonna try to take a cold shower. I don't like laughing at people who are in pain or who aren't well. But that is the most all shittery thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh dear. I've never seen anything like it to be fair. I have seen things similar. I saw a comment when I was researching for this video and he was saying why is Austin acting like we're his new girlfriend? <laughs> Do you know what? While he's lonely I will give him a bit of advice. If you have something that could be contagious maybe don't go to where vulnerable people are and you know there's home tests you can do you can test it at home assuming he's talking about you know the the, the c word all of these videos today make me really wonder how he's been able to do how he has for so long if you get what i mean how has he been able to live the way he has for so long there's a tiktok later i want to show you and it's just it really does speak volumes about this man <laughs> so these next few tiktoks that i'm going to be showing you is it's kind of a confusing situation because as i said he said he was living in a house then he was living in an rv and then got kicked off and fined for that because he was staying illegally and now he's staying at ddg 
Jeeb, I think his name is, his house. And if you don't know who that is, that is the partner of Halle Bailey, I believe. You know, the one who played Ariel in the live action The Little Mermaid. He's currently staying at their house. So again, I don't know what is happening with this house he keeps saying about. He's staying at their house with their newborn baby. These videos are just they're so embarrassing. Embarrassing. Do you want a high, medium, low? Yeah, I like my shit. My shit high. Very immersive and entertaining. I'm, I'm loving the fact I'm watching this. I do gotta put water in it first. Mm. Try to keep it a little quiet for the baby. Alright, school. Right, school. Right, I got you. I know how that be y'all. Got three kids. I went through this whole process three times. Watching these videos fully make me lose faith in humanity. <laughs> so first, he has no idea how to cook noodles, which is, I mean, it's fair. Not everybody will know straight away or struggle or, you know, not like cooking but he's an, a fully capable adult and he don't know how to cook noodles this is what i'm saying how has he been able to survive this long and secondly you know i don't know this man the ddg hallie's partner but he, he they seem kind enough to let austin stay at their home while he figures something out and the one thing that he asked was to keep it down because they've got a new a little baby um, and, and then what does he do he's like oh yeah that's fine that's fine absolutely fine oh yeah i'm a pro and then blasts music <sighs> I, I, I seriously i'm amazed with catherine after watching all of this behavior just how has she been able to cope with this <laughs> I just think it's it's so wrong. He's letting Austin just chill. He's been he's been nice and kind of a good friend, and he's just blatantly disrespects him and his boundaries, and he thinks it's funny. In anticipation that this man would absolutely wind me up and like twist my arm so far, I'm snapped and sent me off to spain or something i've prepared a few memes where people take the mickey out of him so we can laugh at him together and feel happy at the end of this video still see like through the tree a little bit i can still see captain's house through the tree so that makes me feel safe oh my god y'all i just finally just got out of bed this one's I'm relatable <laughs> fever i've been sweating from head to toe what should I do, y'all? Hopefully I don't have the C word. <laughs> should I go to the hospital just to, like, make sure? I just love watching how he does, like, that little squint thing where he just keeps looking at the camera to make sure he's still looking at, like, he's still in shot. <laughs> it's so funny. I think that's enough of that today. I've had enough. <laughs> So those were all of the TikToks I was willing to sit through today. There is so much more that Austin has posted. Uh, he has non-stop posting on Snapchat, although I suppose, what else is he supposed to do now? I, I just, he's a very bizarre man. I don't know, I just, I think Catherine has, I don't know how she's done it for so long. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I, I'm not a huge fan of him the way he has done certain things and he disrespects people and he finds it funny it's just you know not exactly my cup of tea and there's so much more he's done even with Catherine I could literally make a whole video probably even like five on so many bad things he's done but I'm not sure if I want to see his face that is it from me today I hope you enjoy this video I just want to end it by saying this was all in good fun all for entertainment but if it does entertain you i hope so otherwise i'm not doing my job i will catch you in the next one